Are you becoming poor without even realizing it? It's a provocative question, isn't it? But it's a critical one to ask ourselves as understanding our financial health is a fundamental part of life. Today, we're going to explore 10 signs that might indicate you're heading down a less than ideal financial path. These signs include living paycheck to paycheck, rising debt, having no savings, ignoring bills, and not setting any financial goals. Furthermore, over-reliance on credit cards, lack of a budget, minimal financial knowledge, no investments, and constant stress about money also serve as warning flags. Recognizing these signs early can be the key to turning things around, empowering you to take control and make changes before it's too late. It's time to put on our financial detective hats and explore these signs more deeply. So, let's dive into each of these signs in detail. The first sign that you might be slipping into poverty is living paycheck to paycheck. This phrase paints a picture of a financial tightrope, where you're balancing your income and expenses with precision. But even the slightest unexpected cost can send you tumbling into debt. Living paycheck to paycheck means you're only just covering your basic needs, with no room for savings or unexpected expenses. The risks of this lifestyle are numerous. If you lose your job or face a sudden large expense, you could find yourself in financial trouble very quickly. It also means you're unable to build a financial safety net, making any future financial shocks even more damaging. Moreover, living paycheck to paycheck often leads to a cycle of debt. As expenses arise that you can't cover, you may resort to borrowing money, leading to a vicious cycle of debt that's hard to escape. If you're constantly waiting for the next paycheck, it's a sign that you're becoming poor. The second sign is rising debt. Now, debt in and of itself isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can be a tool to get ahead like student loans or a mortgage. However, when debt becomes a growing monster, constantly racking up with no end in sight, it can be a surefire sign that you're slipping into financial trouble. The danger of rising debt is that it can spiral out of control if not addressed early on. Imagine you're in a boat with a small leak. If you don't patch it up quickly, the water will start to fill the boat. The more water, the faster the boat sinks. That's exactly how debt works. The more you owe, the more interest accumulates and the faster your financial boat starts to sink. So let's be clear, if your debt is constantly increasing with no plan to pay it down, it's another sign that you're becoming poor. The third sign is having no savings. One of the most critical aspects of financial stability is having a safety net you can fall back on. Think of savings as your financial bodyguard, protecting you from unforeseen expenses. It's like a lifeboat in the stormy sea of unpredictability. When life throws curveballs at you like sudden medical expenses, car repairs, or job loss, savings can help you weather the storm without sinking into debt. But if your bank account's balance is perpetually hovering near zero, it's like walking a tightrope without a safety net. Not having savings also means you're likely living paycheck to paycheck. This leaves you vulnerable to financial hardship, as you have nothing set aside for future expenses like a house, education, or even retirement. If you're spending every penny you earn without setting anything aside, it's like driving a car with no fuel reserves. You're bound to run out sooner or later. If you don't have any savings, it's a clear sign that you're becoming poor. The fourth sign is ignoring bills. Now, this is a big one. Ignoring bills is like ignoring a ticking time bomb. It's not going to disappear, it's simply going to explode. And when it does, the fallout can be costly. Late fees pile up, making what was once manageable now seem like a mountain. These fees can quickly snowball, making your debts grow larger and more daunting. And let's not forget about penalties. They're like salt on a wound, adding to the financial strain and making it even harder to dig yourself out of the hole. But perhaps the most damaging consequence of ignoring bills is the impact it can have on your credit score. A low credit score can affect everything from your ability to secure a loan, to landing a job, to renting an apartment. So if you find yourself ignoring bills, it's time to pause and take a hard look at your financial situation. If you're ignoring your bills, it's a sign that you're becoming poor. The fifth sign is having no financial goals. You see, financial goals act as a roadmap guiding you towards financial security and prosperity. They are the beacon that guides your money decisions, helping you prioritize where your money goes. Imagine embarking on a journey without a destination. You'd wander aimlessly, wouldn't you? The same goes for your finances. Without clear financial goals, you're essentially wandering through a financial wilderness, susceptible to impulse spending. 
poor money decisions and ultimately, financial instability. Having financial goals can mean different things to different people. It could be saving for a house, planning for retirement, paying off debt, or starting a business. The important thing is to have a clear vision and a plan to reach it. Financial goals give you something to strive for. They motivate you to save more, spend less, and make smarter decisions with your money. If you don't have financial goals, it's a sign that you're becoming poor. The sixth sign is over-reliance on credit cards. Now, credit cards can be a fantastic tool for building credit and earning rewards, but like any tool, they can be misused. When you find yourself swiping that plastic for every purchase, it becomes a crutch, not a convenience. You see, credit cards are essentially loans. Every time you swipe, you're borrowing money that you promise to pay back. The problem arises when you can't pay back in full. You start accruing interest, and before you know it, you're in a debt pit that's hard to climb out of. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that credit card debt is manageable, especially with minimum payments seeming so low. But remember, that's how the credit card companies make their money. They want you to stay in debt, paying interest month after month. So, if you're constantly using your credit card for everyday expenses, it's a sign that you're becoming poor. The seventh sign is not having a budget. Let's chew on that for a moment. Budgeting is like a financial compass, guiding us through the wilderness of our expenses, income, and savings. It's a tool that helps us keep our spending in check, ensuring we don't stray off the path into the forest of financial instability. Without a budget, we're like a ship adrift at sea. It's all too easy to lose sight of the shore and end up spending more than we can afford. We buy things we don't need, we splurge on luxuries we can't sustain, and before we know it, we're drowning in a sea of debt and regret. A budget is more than a piece of paper or a spreadsheet. It's a plan, a strategy, a roadmap to financial health. If you're sailing through life without a budget, you're heading towards a financial storm. If you don't budget your money, it's a sign that you're becoming poor. The eighth sign is a lack of financial knowledge. A critical area often overlooked in our education system, financial literacy is paramount to maintaining a healthy financial life. Without it, we're essentially navigating through a foggy forest without a compass or map. Let's break it down. Financial knowledge empowers you to make informed decisions. It equips you with the skills to budget effectively, manage debts, understand investments, and plan for the future. Without these skills, you're likely to make poor financial choices that can lead to a cycle of debt and poverty. Think about it. How can you budget if you don't know how to? How can you invest wisely if you don't understand the risks and returns? The answers are clear. You can't. Financial education is not just about understanding money. It's about creating a secure future for yourself and your loved ones. If you lack financial knowledge, it's a sign that you're becoming poor. The ninth sign is having no investments. Now, investments are more than just a way to grow your wealth. They're a lifeline, a safety net, that ensures you're not just living for today, but also preparing for tomorrow. Investments are like seeds you plant today for a fruitful harvest in the future. Not having investments can be a red flag. It could mean that you're spending all your earnings without putting any aside for future growth. This can lead to financial instability, as you're relying solely on your current income to meet all your needs. It's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole at the bottom. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to make any progress. Investing is about more than just making money. It's about securing your future, ensuring that you have a financial cushion to fall back on when times get tough. If you have no investments, it's a sign that you're becoming poor. The tenth and final sign is constant stress about money. Now, stress is a part of everyday life, but when it's consistently about money, it's a sign of a deeper financial problem. This constant worry about finances can take a toll on your mental and physical health. It can lead to sleepless nights, anxiety, depression, and even physical ailments like high blood pressure and heart disease. When your mind is preoccupied with money worries, it's challenging to focus on other aspects of your life, like work, relationships, or personal growth. Financial stress is not just about the lack of money, it's about the lack of financial stability. It's about not knowing whether you'll be able to meet your financial obligations or whether you'll have enough for emergencies. This kind of stress is a clear sign that you're living on the edge of financial instability. If you're constantly stressed about money, it's a sign that you're becoming poor. So those were the 10 signs that you're becoming poor. We've traveled through the uneasy terrain of living paycheck to paycheck, the rising mountains of debt, 
the barren land of no savings, and the dark alley of ignoring bills. We've also explored the aimless journey of having no financial goals, the precarious bridge of over-reliance on credit cards, the chaotic market of no budget, the confusing maze of lack of financial knowledge, and the desolate desert of no investments. Lastly, we've navigated through the stormy seas of constant stress about money. Each of these signs is a red flag, a warning signal that your financial health may be deteriorating. Recognizing them early is crucial. It's like catching a disease in its early stages. The sooner you spot it, the better your chances of recovery. Remember, the first step to improving your financial situation is recognizing the signs that you're becoming poor. So keep these signs in mind and take steps to improve your financial health. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for all the latest content from Money Masters. Until next time, keep mastering your money.